Hello and welcome to BBC World News. A fierce Arctic winter storm has triggered emergency alerts across large parts of the United States. It's forced the cancellation of more than 2,000 flights. Forecasters say a so-called weather bomb cyclone could bring the coldest Christmas in decades. Temperatures could drop to minus 45 Celsius. Our North America correspondent Peter Bowes reports. This is what it looks like when a bomb cyclone descends on North America. These huge banks of snow in North Dakota are the result of an intense blizzard that swept through the state. Conditions that are set to engulf almost the entire country just in time for Christmas. But this is no winter wonderland. The storm could prove deadly. Great swathes of the US will experience some of the lowest temperatures ever recorded here. There's already chaos at the airports. This is New York. For many, it should have been the first normal Christmas after Covid. But across the country, thousands of flights have been cancelled. Some people have been forced to abandon their plans to travel, while others are scrambling to find another way to get to their families. Flustered. Um, we're trying to search on our phones, figure out other routes, maybe even taking a bus from here to Atlanta, which It'll take us about 21 hours, so that's really inconvenient, but uh, anything we can do just to get there is what we're going to do. President Biden has urged people to take extreme care. This is really a very serious uh, weather alert here. And it goes from Oklahoma all the way to uh, Wyoming and Wyoming to Maine, and it's a real consequence. So I encourage everyone, everyone, please heed the local warnings. The rapidly deepening low-pressure system will bring snow, strong winds, ice and frigid conditions all the way from Canada to the deep south, including Texas and the border with Mexico. The Midwest will be particularly badly hit, where it could be the coldest Christmas since the 1980s. Even Florida, the sunshine state, will experience temperatures well below freezing. In New York, intense blizzards are expected to last for several days. Americans are being advised to travel earlier than planned or hunker down for Christmas. Peter Bowes, BBC News. Well, Trooper Eric Foster is with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. He told me how things are going in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's very cold and we're able to move across the state okay. Uh, we had some icy conditions earlier in our day uh, and it caused quite a quite a few problems. We had, we responded to 700 calls for service across our state. Our state is, is largely rural. Uh, we only have two really big cities in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, and so reaching out into those rural areas to help, help people, uh, you know, put, put a hamper on our time. Yeah, how mobile are you? I mean, never mind all the people out there. It, you know, we, we're OK. Our roads are passable. Uh, we didn't get a lot of snow. We got a lot of ice. And, you know, obviously traveling on ice is is a different situation than traveling on snow. But we were able to get around. Uh, we did have quite a few crashes and, and some fatalities, uh, fatality crashes in Oklahoma. But we we're able to traverse OK. And I hear that it's the suddenness of the way the temperatures dropped so quickly that has also caught a lot of people out. That, that's correct. You know, we, we deal with ice every, every winter here. And so we're prepared uh, with treatment, with salt, with other chemicals on the roadway to help uh, travelers on the roadway. However, when it came so suddenly, so quickly, the, the temperature dropped so quickly that we're kind of catching up. And so tonight, uh, it's midnight where I'm at, and so there are road workers on the road right now preparing the road for tomorrow's rush hour traffic. Um, and so we're expecting it to be a little better than it was yesterday morning when it fell so quickly. It does seem that people still try and travel despite all the warnings, despite the conditions, and it's coming up to Christmas, so they want to go to places. What is your advice for people who may find themselves caught in really bad conditions or, heaven forbid, caught in an accident? Tell us what you're saying to people out there. 
obviously the, the main thing that we're noticing when we're responding to uh, help people is that they're not dressed for the conditions. You know, a lot of times we have remote start cars now, or we have cars where you can get in inside a garage or something like that, where they're warm. And so they, they feel like they can travel from point A to point B and be okay. But that's okay until your car is immobile until it doesn't work anymore. And if you're in a crash and stuck out in conditions like this, it can be very, very dangerous for you to be in air temperatures this cold. And so we're seeing that people aren't dressed for the conditions or at least prepared to be out in it. And that's one major thing that people need to think about. Just uh, how long have you got left on your shift, Eric? Um, I, you know, probably a couple more hours and then uh, I'll be... Uh, hopefully home, uh, warm in bed, and we'll see what, what the rest of the evening brings.